T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, T-Man 978. Right now I'm going to be reviewing New Age Toys, The Legendary Heroes, Mini Warrior, Flipper, aka Tiny Bumblebee as I call him. Anyway, prepare yourself for plastic attic levels of comparisons because I'm going to have a lot. Starting off, Power of the Primes, Voyager class, Grimlock here, hunched over, but you know he's really, probably, well, he's going to be that much taller than THS Convoy here, G1 Optimus Prime, but let's get these folks out of here. I forgot there was one more guy there, this little Ant-Man from Marvel Legends and Yellow Jacket. There the pack ends with the Marvel Legends Ant-Man and Yellow Jacket two-pack. You may have noticed that he has an Autobot logo on the one I have, but this is how it comes when you open it, looking plain and generic and unofficial. They have this stuff back here. This, I forget what Optimus that is, but I don't think it's actually theirs. But we get this, that, this stuff, and I don't know. I have a feeling this is a sticker from BBTS that I don't know should still be on there. And oh, do not, if you order from BBTS, do not use their $4 flat rate. I know that might seem awesome, $4, but Jesus Christ, it took me over a week to get this because when you order through BBTS, unless your name is Optobotomus or somebody, they hold your stuff for two days after you pay for it. And then they ship it out, which takes even longer. So, yeah, they probably won't ever sponsor me. Inside of that high-quality packaging, you get the flipper and his little gun. And the instruction manual, which is high-quality paper. And nicely detailed, really retro G1 style right there. Due to this guy's size, I don't have many complaints. There are things that could have been better, but since he's so tiny, you have to give them a little bit of leeway with what they could and couldn't get away with. Like the ability not to have a waist joint due to the way he transforms, and he doesn't have wrist rotation. But, he's cute. You already knew. I like little tiny action figures. And then when I saw this, and it looked super G1, and it's highly articulated for a little tiny action figure, he, there was no way I was going to be able to continue going on in life without owning this thing. <laughs> but let's try to get in on some of those details. Here's his tiny cute little face. His head is on a ball joint. So it can look up and pivot and all that and rotate here's the line detail right there here's all this on his back backpack cleans up a little bit better than a masterpiece to be honest but let's show you his articulation while I still have him up close the shoulders can move back like that Elbow, I mean shoulders are on a ball joint so they can do go out that high more than 90 degrees Ball joint in the elbow so that does everything a ball joint does no wrist hips can go out to there can kick forward The knee does oh they can bend and of course with swivel and all that junk because it's on a ball joint only thing design wise I don't like is because his shins are so small it kind of gets eaten up by his foot but they had the smartness to put a ball joint down here so you can get pivot out there that way and pivot this way in his ankles plus he can kick back due to the way he transforms and come it stops there but his articulation is awesome like being able to kick back for, for different poses is great and I like it Here's his tiny little gun, and this brings me to probably my last complaint. You just slide it into his hand. Well, two complaints. Number one, the hands are due to the way you got to transform them. The hands are kind of pointed inward when you point his arm straight. 
so you have to like work with that when you're posing him and the gun actually doesn't stay in either hand tight at all i mean i guess you could dab some floor polish on that to make it a little bit thicker but it does not stay in the hand so if you are transporting this guy after putting the gun in the hand pay attention because that's going to fall out it's going to fall out that happened to me at the meetup and i was freaking out because it was blending right in on the floor you see how tiny that is this is my middle fingertip and yeah that's small so let's get us some bumblebee comparisons going on right here this is the takaratomi masterpiece bumblebee like i said the backpack cleans up you don't have all that hanging down below the back or below the butt i should say he has an actual like body outline that represents what you actually saw in the cartoon but like this one has longer shins making him have real feet whereas over here it looks like the feet are part of the knees and they do have some dreamwave comic artwork that looks like this if i'm not being lazy i'll be putting that on the screen right now while i'm talking and wiping crumbs off my backdrop here he is with titans returns bumblebee and hot soldiers iron hide that's those their heights together and this is a good height for them right there like if they had some in-between size autobot that wasn't supposed to be a mini bot that would work out good but most of the legends class figures are supposed to be mini bots so they should be closer to this bumblebee's height but that's a good scale right there here's something i've never done my hot soldiers next to my ths convoy uh, I love this dude, but I kind of got embarrassed because I broke off one of his antennas. Ah, that's why I've never reviewed him so far, and I lost his axe, because I actually played with this freaking thing a lot, like I'm going to be doing with this bumblebee. Here's some other Legends class dudes. Authentics Grimlock, Grimlock and Power to Prime Grimlock, something I forgot to do in his review. Authentics Megatron, Titans Returns Overlord. Creo Bumblebee and Mega Constructs He-Man. Power to Prime Swoop. Who is a Deluxe Class? That's how small he is next to a Deluxe Class. Iron Factory Pink Assassins. As you know, they're very tiny. And some G1 Autobots because I want to. Because I want to. And it's funny how Cliff Jumper and Bumblebee were like the freaking tallest of the mini bots, but the smallest in the cartoon. Gears is actually like in scale with him. And as long along with offer transformation take the gun out of his hand okay now we open this little flap right here on the back of his leg open that little flap on the back of the legs I guess we can go ahead and peg the feet together now alrighty this thing right here on the back of his neck pull that back and pull that out these little window pieces we need to Get them up out of there. Remember which one you folded in last because they're very tiny and you might need a little tool depending on how far you put them in there. But it seems like you have to put them far in there so that you can get this behind his neck. And if you want to, you can bring that up and have it like a hood, like gold bug. So when they do the gold bug repaint or release it, I guess you can leave that like that if you want. Now we can lift this up, start rolling it back like that which will connect with the little bonnet I said you can leave up bring these out to the side basically leave them like that rotate the arms in and basically we need to flip the forearm so that it can match up underneath of there like that I bet there was a simpler way I could have showed that but basically the hands need to be in this orientation after you fold the shoulders in now we can pull the legs back like this start rotating this into this direction and put these hands up into those grooves right there and flatten everything and push his butt up into this orientation so that everything will sit flush up here now we can shut these rear wheels 
and bring these wheels out right here. There's a little cut right there. You can store this gun by putting the handle into the cut. Once again, know, this feels a little bit more secure than him actually holding it. So that's what you're working with. Unfortunately, the only whack thing about this mood is the wheels do not roll, but he looks good. He looks like Bumblebee. He probably looks better with this deco that I have on him with now that I put these logos on him. If you're wondering, this is just a standard logo, and this is the logo that goes with uh, Bad Cube's Outback or Backland. But this is cool. Maybe if it had paint on the spare tire, it could look a little bit less plain, but I like it. They painted the lights back there. They painted the lights in the front, and that's good. It's cool. Here he is next to my THS Convoy roller. He's a little bit bigger than that. The same trailer that comes with that guy. How does this work? Uh, I can't get the ramp out. You gotta like, actually, you have to open this to make the ramp shoot out. And who wants to do all that? But he is capable of fitting in there totally, completely if you have this figure. But more than likely you have one of the newer small Optimus Primes and yeah, it works with that. Here he is next to those mini bots. About the same size as G1 Bumblebee but significantly smaller in robot mode because this guy has really long legs. Here he is next to Gears, Huffer, and Wind Charger. Wind Charger gets significantly smaller. Titans Return Bumblebee. Powder Primes, Grimlock, and yeah, I'm not transforming anybody else. I'm not transforming, um, what's his face? Masterpiece Bumblebee. Here's a comparison next to the foot. You got an idea if you own this figure. But anywho, I love this little toy. I love it to death. It is awesome. Uh, uh any little complaint that I made, those are the complaints that I made. I wish this had real rolling wheels, but I guess they couldn't engineer that considering everything else they engineered into this little tiny package, which is awesome. So, anywho, until next time, D-Man 978, out of here. <laughs>